Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question flip binary tree to match pre-order traversal. So over here, this question is a little bit ambiguously phrased. So let's go ahead and see this question in detail as what this question is asking from us to do with an example. So the question would be having an input tree that is given to us and a pre-order traversal for the desired tree. So I have mapped this pre-order traversal into the tree that it would represent. So now the question is to tell that can this particular input tree be converted into the desired tree. But how? By flipping the left and right childs of a particular node. So over here in this input tree, we can say that if we flip the left and rights for this node 1, we can get the same tree that was desired. And so our result would contain the parent node for which we flipped its child. If in case there is no way to make this particular tree or the desired tree from input tree by the rules given, then you need to return minus 1 in that list. And if both the trees are equal, that is you need not flip any nodes, then your answer would be a empty list. So these were the examples also that were shown into the problem statement given to us. For this video, we'll use this input and the pre-order and we'll try to see how we can get our result. So over here, we'll start with the node 1 and check whether these are equal or not. If these are not equal, that means there is no way to form this particular desired tree from the input tree given because there is no way we can flip the root nodes. We will only flip the child nodes. Now, if that is equal, we need to check whether its left is equal or not. So if this left is equal to the left of the desired tree, then we can move ahead with our basic DFS or else we need to flip these two nodes. So over here, as this is not equal, we are going to flip this and so add one into our result because we have flipped the nodes that were left and right to one. Once we are done with this, now, since we were on one, we need to perform the pre-order traversal on the input tree also. So we'll go to its left, that is to the node three. Since these values are equal, we'll move ahead and check its child. Since 5 is also equal, we'll move ahead to its right, that is root dot right, which would be 4. Since these are also equal, we'll be moving down in our hierarchy. And so, now we'll move at 5 and then we'll move at 4. So, that would give us this, that 5 and 4 are also equal. So, now since we have traversed all my left tree, I'll go to the right tree. And since these two are equal and the children are also equal, that is null, so the traversal now gets completed and we return the result that is formed with us. If in case the root node itself or the parent node for which we are checking the left rights itself is not equal, we would have just returned minus one in the list. So now we know that we just need to perform a pre-order traversal on the input tree and wherever the child nodes are not equal, you need to just flip those nodes. And by flipping over here in DFS, what we are going to do is we'll not be flipping the tree, but we'll be flipping the order in which we are calling the tree. So as in pre-order, we call as root left and right. In that case, we'd be calling root right and left. So that would give a view that the tree has been flipped. So now let's go and code it out. So first, let's take a few global variables or class level variables. So these will be my index, my result and my voyage and over here I'll assign them. With this we'll also have a DFS function which would have a return type of boolean. And in this we'll pass the tree node. Over here first thing that we check if the node is equal to null that means we can return true. Otherwise if my node's value is not equal to the ith value from my voyage then I'll return false. Over here I am doing an i++ because for the next steps we would need to go on the left and right of the tree so we'll be doing a i++. Now we'll check for the left because 
our pre order traversal says that once you have visited the node you need to first visit left so let's check whether my left of the input tree is equal to the left of my desired tree if these values are not equal we need to flip those values and add it in the result so for flipping we will be doing just our reverse dfs that is first on right and then on left if we do not need to flip this that means the example is correct and so we need to do our normal dfs so we do return on dfs of left and right in our main method we'll call dfs on root and check whether we are getting a true or a false if we are getting a true we need to return the result as it is and if it is a false we need to return a list with minus one in it so that's it let's try to run this code and we need to use the node let's run this again and we are getting a perfect result let's submit this and it got submitted so the time complexity over here would be going on to each node that is the number of nodes and the space complexity would be o of n to store this array list that could go up to o of n so that's it for this question guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one so till then keep learning keep coding bye bye